Hello YouTube, this is my first tutorial on how to colorize an image, starting with a black and white image and then going to color. So here we have a photo of Albert Einstein, and it's in black and white, because it was taken a very long time ago, and this is what you'll be able to make, a colorized version, with, a with just the black and white image and a little skill. Okay, so first of all, you got to get your black and white version, and this will work with virtually any this will work with virtually any black and white photo. If it is gray style or gray layer, you may have some trouble, so you might want to see my other tutorial. Okay, so thi this is what you do. The first thing you do is, well, you, you get your photo in here, and then you go to Layer, New Layer, click Foreground Color, and press OK. Click on the new layer. It's black because it's all that's always the color. Now, choose a color that's like this. Here's the, here's the number if you want the exact one, but it, kind of a skin color, maybe a little darker, maybe a little lighter. It's all in your, all in your preference. And press OK. And then go to Bucket Fill and fill it all up. Now, that's, now here's the next part. Right click and go to Add Layer Mask. Go to Black, Full Transparency, push Add. Now, what this will do is just mask this. And so you'll just see the black and white image. But make sure that, for the next step, make sure that the black is selected and there'll be a white border around it if it is selected. Alrighty. So then click Eraser. And then go to Mode and click Overlay. Now make sure that, that this layer right here is clicked. Now go onto the face, start erasing and it'll start adding skin color. I'm going to make I'm going to make my brush a little bigger. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. This this adds color to someone's face. And if it, it has a kind of unnatural look to it, but if you want to fix that, it's ve it's very simple and I'll show you in just a minute. Now, we do not get the eyes or hair because if you get the hair it'll make them kind of an, an odd blonde look and it won't look natural so just make sure you do not get the hair get the, but do get the eyebrows mouth and try and stay away from a gigantic mustache the one he has just like this there we go get the ears okay and then what this definitely requires is a lot of time and a very still hand because you, if you get anything else but his face, it won't look good. It'll look like it'll look uh, sepatone or whatever that other image is like. That's just kind of a skin color for the whole thing. Okay, so we got most of him. We'll get his hand later. So um, okay, now we're going to add color to his shirt. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the. Um, skin color. We're going to go to um, new layer, foreground color. Now it's um, skin color with the foreground color. Then click. I'm going to go with a dark blue. You can do pretty much any color, but fill in and make it dark blue. Then right click, add layer mask, black full transparency, add. And make sure that this time this one is clicked. Grab the eraser and make sure to change this to overlay. Now because it's just a, it's just his jacket, this is really easy. And all you do is just you just color it in, just like this. Color in his jacket. And this takes a while because if you make if you leave some spots open, then it will not look as good. It'll look well, just like it is right now. So it, it takes a little while. You have to zoom in and get the really good good details. And it takes a little while. And I'm not sure how much time I have left on this tutorial. But um, that is pretty much how it does. And the overlay allows you to keep, um, to keep the good uh, quality. But if you decide to use red, the chances are it's going to come out pink. So if you want to use red, then go to... Um, then, then select grain merge but we're not using red in this film so we do not need to do that 
So just color in the rest of his jacket and make sure to get all the fine details. And just like that. Sorry. And then if you need to get more of the face and hands, just go over here and click this again. And there we can grab his hands and make his hands colorized. A little more of the face. You can make your brush a little smaller to get some of the more detailed areas. And, well, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just colorize every little part that you can think of and don't get the hair or mustache. <laughs> so that pretty much sums up the tutorial for how to colorize a black and white image. Thank you.